Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evo Space. Uh, I'm currently uh, reworking the conveyors right now. I'm trying to get the steel production a little more uniform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the coke, coke uh, this furnace, this coke oven providing this blast furnace, that coke oven providing this blast furnace. Uh, I also looked into the whole, um, what should we call it here? The thing about the blast furnace not having an output. It does have an output. It's anywhere but the green nodes. And I was trying it with a robot, but it wasn't actually taking it out because it didn't, the robot didn't have it anywhere to put it. So that's why it wasn't showing up. So what I'm doing is I got the iron coming in on this side here. So what I'm going to do is actually what I should be doing is feeding these directly into the same one. That might make more sense. Uh... But because they're going the same distance, I figured it'd be better to do it that way instead. So I'm gonna get some more conveyor, uh, some conveyor junctions made, and I'll get this hooked up and I'll bring you back. Okay, so here's what I did. I decided to have the outputs going into junctions, which meet up here, join up, and then go through here, and then split up again and get divvied up amongst either direction, and we'll go from there. All right, uh, we're also having an issue with Kriya, so so I think we're gonna go ahead and make a steel container. And hopefully this will have a lot more storage space. So we'll take that out. Get, take that out of the way. And do that and that. And I don't have no idea how much it's actually going to hold. But hopefully it's going to be a lot more. Capacity 10 and it's already full. <laughs> oh wow, this is going to be fun. See, and that one's full too. Oh yes, for Kriya, so it's going to be an issue. I think I might have to make a couple more of those. Let's do that. Uh, relatively cheap. Three plates each. And then uh, get some pipes. Yes, I do have pipes. We go one, two. One, two. And then, once those are done, one, two. And these are going to absolutely fill up the Kriya, so it looks like they e equalize too. Good. So we have plenty of room, so at least this is going to keep on going. Now to deal with the steel. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to get down to here. And uh, I'll probably even use the buffer chest. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use the, the junctions. Now this is where it's going to be a bit of an issue because I have this here. So I'm wondering... Well, first, I'm wondering if I can actually place a robot on top of here, and I doubt I can, but we'll try anyways. No. Hmm. Oh, I can. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue about that. In fact, let's actually try to get interesting with this, just because we have these junctions now. So we'll make another robot. Uh, the robot should go right to the junction. Now, how many am I need? Two, four. Uh, let's make like 10 of them. I'm probably using a whole lot of them anyways. Okay, and how are we doing here? Look at that. That thing's full already. And how are we doing on the shelf? And the best thing is, is as this fills up, the, the numbers will actually show up on here. And as you see, we're getting a lot of rods out of that. we got steel going through. It's nice. Uh, make sure this is... Oh, yeah. That's not going to be running because I don't have it going through yet. All right. So... Uh, now, let's see where did I put that. I put it right here, so I'll take my robotic friend here. We'll go like so. We're going to grab our junctions. We're going to do one there, uh, one there. And then we're going to do same thing, two on top of each other, not next to each other. Okay, let's do that. Alright, so the input on this is going to be yellow. So input yellow. No, not red. Input yellow. You're not actually going to work, are you? You're going to need a conveyor. Yes, you are. Okay, that's fine. Not a problem. I think I can afford it. Maybe I can't. I will in a second here. Uh, so yeah, and that means we're going to have to put the, the junctions here. In 
fact, I think what we'll do. Yeah, I gotta put a conveyor here, so. Hmm. So I could do that. Actually, it has to be this way. See, now it comes out. Now we'll do the same thing. We'll put another conveyor here. And then we'll do. Then we'll do the junctions. We'll put one there and one here. Output is going to be on the pink. All right, and on the yellow. Uh, same here. That's going to be input on the yellow. Uh, and put it on the green. Then we can put another one here. Uh, input is going to be on blue. Input on blue. Output on white. Oh, hang on, hang on. Off. No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. So, yes. Oh, this on the bottom. That's white. And then we'll put another junction here. And we'll have to sort of zigzag around a little bit by the looks of it. We can do like that. Okay. Out on pink. And then out on red. Uh, out on red, yeah, okay. Just to make sure it doesn't end up in there. And then from here, we're just going to hook it up to that box. And I will need a couple more junctions. I Good thing I made them. Alright, like so, and like so. So, pink, red, and that should automatically go in. There we go. Now we got the steel automated. I'm already starting to get confused. Uh, this still has a lot of iron to go through too. All right, uh, yeah, that's the thing about these junctions. You got to be careful because they will sort of cross up. Oh, don't be doing that. So I do have to watch out that no steel gets in there. I might have to take this whole all apart, but. All right, that's that taken care of. So now we can not, don't have to worry about this anymore. Now that let's see if we can do something about this power situation. So what I want to do is I actually want to use these things here. Let me just check something here. Uh, the bamboo farms. So let me get that off my hotbar for a second. Now we are going to need a lot of biomass for this. I do have biomass somewhere. A lot of it, yes. Two chests. Biomass. Organics. You know what I mean. Uh, I need some place to put all this extra iron. Uh, hmm. I'm sure, I got a chest here somewhere I can use. We'll have to deal with that at some other time. Uh, okay, iron can go. Uh, I might need the logs, but whatever. All right, and now for the biomat. Uh, organics, I should say. Organics and a lot of dirt. And I do have dirt here. So I want to make... can't remember how many I had in the other world. At least eight of them. Eight long, sorry. Uh, so let's go ahead and make... Over here. I can make 13. Let's see how, many, how much more I can make. As I want to have at least 32 of these things. If I can make 64, that's even better. Uh, give me 24. That took a while to craft. And let's take some more out of here. I got four. I want. Realistically, I like to get 32 of these things going, or 64. And you'll see why when the time comes. Alright, that's going to be another 30. That's 54, 58. Our stack. So that's gonna craft. I shall return when that is done. I gotta check my fuel situation. Oh yeah, we're out of power. Go figure. This is why we're doing this. So let me get all this loaded up and I'll bring you back. 
Okay, I'm back. Uh, I had to redo these a little bit. I was it was getting this all messed up. Nothing was actually ending up in the furnace to get cooked. Uh, what was happening is the junction down below was putting iron on this conveyor no matter what I did. So I had to keep it elevated. Uh, the robots are doing their job. They're getting the steel out. And so all the steel is getting sent all the way over to here to the hammer where it's going to go through and get hammered and then split up and either become plates or become rods. So that's good. Look at that. Our shelf's filling up. Nice. I uh, got this going again. I uh, got a little more copper going through. Uh, the iron is slowly going through. There might be some steel ending up on this belt, so I'll have to wait till blast furnaces start taking an input that I know I got something on the, on the belt. And uh, let's go check the, the coal situation. The coal situation is doing good. And hopefully, now that I've got this all set up properly, that these will stay uniform in the amount of coal coke they have, and apparently not. This one is still not going too well, but we're going to end up making a steel coke oven pretty soon. I have plenty of plates on me, and if we look at the quests, that's actually what we're going to be getting into is uh, the robotic arms and the filtering arm robot, which we need a lens for. And the lens, we get by making glass in an arc furnace. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be going to, we're going to have to get the steel arc furnace going to make the glass block glass block of course is sand or not glass dust for sand to make one glass block at the cost of six electricity now to create electricity we can do it with steel generator or with a steel generator which uses kinetic energy uh, there's other ways you can do it too like solar panels but I don't think they're actually in the game yet uh, as you as I said before this is early access but let's go ahead and start making these so we can get our robot. So first we need to make a steel arm robot, which is just faster than this one. So we'll go here, we'll make... Uh, where are you? I'll find it in just a second. Let me get on something I can actually see a little bit better. Uh, if I was a robotic arm, I would be... Like even there, steel logic wires. This crazy. There we go. I don't have my contacts in, that's why I don't see it. So now we have that. Now we have a student. Now we gotta start making the glass. So we need to get to the arc furnace. So we're gonna actually go ahead and make one of those. Uh, to make get the power for that, like I said, we're gonna have to make the generator. So power is a steel generator. A steel generator is gonna be twenty copper wire, four rings, a couple steel rods and a steel casing. Now that one should be right there. We're also going to need another steam engine for it. Uh, we'll probably make a steel one be just because we're going to need a little bit more power to generate the power that we need. Now, the power area, I think... Uh, let's see, where's the, where are the wires going to have to be for the arc furnace? I'm just trying to think here. Uh, this is basically going to be our power production area over here. So maybe we'll get it set up over here. Okay, so the arc furnace, let me take that off, put that here. Uh, we will need to automate this eventually. This will be our steel production sometime down the line, so we'll figure it out. I think this might be a good spot. I do plan on spending a huge giant bamboo farm here too. Uh, let's put, actually put it over here for now. So the arc furnace, as you can see, is a 2x2x3 two by two by tall. And it does have a power input somewhere. I have it turned on it's on the top. Oh, there it is. You can see it up top there. So we'll just put that there for now. Now we need the steel, the steel generator. This is what's going to be generating our power. Now we do have an output there. We're going to probably just have it here and have wires. There is a kinetic input too. So we have to keep that in mind. So maybe I'll put it there. And we'll put our steam engine. not showing up for some reason but it is there should be there steam engine there and we should actually have a pipe connection down below where is steam this is steam should be steam now I don't know if there's actual steel pipes in the game if there is that might be something to look forward to it might be more higher volume 
Uh, let's see, do we have steel pipes? Ah, there it is. So we might have to upgrade our system eventually. So let's jump up here. Eventually. There we go. And we go back to the old pipes. One there. One there. And one there. So this will be generated as power. Eventually. Not much, but enough. Alright, now we just have to make some copper wires. Go over to here. Uh, make... I'll make six, I'll make about a dozen of them. So there we go, we have one power already. We can make batteries, which will actually store the power. Uh, I don't know how much it actually stores, but it might be worthwhile to make one of those. I never used one before, but we'll do it anyways. So there we go, it is generating power. This is what I mean about the animations in the game, it's great. Uh, of course, we're definitely going to have to start producing more steam. Alright, I'm still building that. So, let's go get some sand ready. Go run all the way over here and already it's starting to become <laughs> an absolute maze in here. Alright, I do have sand. Not much, but enough. Uh, we don't need to make too many of these robots. I do need to make eight of them, but that's only four glass that I will need. Actually, one glass. Because th that will become four pieces. Uh, how did we... Hang on a second, we do that, we have a filtering robot, the lens goes through a cutting machine, that's right. So we'll have to set up another cutting machine here somewhere, where is it here? Not the macerator, not the block. Uh, actually, that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to make lenses. There we go, cutting machine gets three lenses and one glass dust, so we'll need to make two of them then. Alright, that's fine. How is this doing here? Uh-oh. Oh, still going. Just slow. Alright, let's get some glass in here. Or sand. And let's actually get our battery down. Okay, so it has connections on all, si all sides. It holds 20 power. That's actually not bad. Alright, now we get some wires. We do uh, uh, that. The wires are basically the same as the pipes. Where you connect them. Apparently there is some sort of power grid where you can see like where your power u usage is it help if I actually knew where, where I was put my wires go ahead and take those out and that and helps if we actually uh, of course I don't know why it does that uh, okay did I, did I get my sand I did I didn't get my power back though that kind of sucks yeah. Sorry, fumbling with the controls. Typical me, right? Alright, we'll do that. Let's get the sand in there first. Uh, so, we'll put that up there. No. Come on. Sand up top. Why are you not working? Do I really have to put power to it first? Let's rotate this. Don't mind me, I'm just fumbling with the controls like I always do. Okay, where are we here? Other side. Okay, we'll do it that way. There and there. Now where's the power going in? Now why does the power go up top? It doesn't matter. It goes in. So yes, it's making this class. Again, cool animations. And I'll grab the rest of the wire here. We don't need it right now. We're not... It's the only thing that we actually need that's making power right now, so that's good. We even have a battery. And... So that's making us our glass. And it doesn't actually take long to make. I just gotta wait for more power to go through. Let's actually get that in a cutting machine. And... I think I have to place one down. Hmm. I'm gonna have to make another cutting machine. Uh, just to, because I got production going on and I don't want to mess up things. All right, we'll make it a cutting machine. That's going to need air. Which means another steam engine, of course. Oh, the days of steam. Well, that's fine. I can just place it right here. Uh, let's see. Cutting machine. Do that. Uh, steam engine. 
do like that. And pipes. Am I out of pipes already? Wow. Make a few more. Get that glass in here. That other glass block should be ready. All the way over here. There we go. Run all the way back here. We'll get that in there like so. And we got pipes. One, two. There we go. I was like, what's going on? Oh, steam. That's going on. We're out of coal somewhere. Uh, yeah, we are. And that is going to be the next thing we're going to work on. As soon as I get this, these furnaces filled. Uh, there's that. There you go. Uh, stack for you. Run over here. A uh, stack for you. And a stack for you. And something I've noticed too is uh, the boilers don't all get used up evenly. It's basically if there's just a little bit of demand, only one will work. So that gets kind of awkward. But there we go. We have our lenses now. So now we can go ahead and make a filtering robot. Or, yeah, which uh, basically you can tell it which items you want it to take. So we'll take one of those. And that completes that quest. So now we gotta just make the compares. And so one of those, one of those, and then one of those. And that'll finish our quest line and it'll get us get us three more filtering arm robots, which we're gonna use for the multi-tool robots. And oh, that one's not done yet. Let's go wait for that to finish. And there we go, chapter complete. We can go ahead and claim those. So we got our filtering robots. And then we're going to be getting into the alloy smelter next, which gets us faster fuel and helps us make better alloys. But first, what I need to do, what I want to do, I want to make eight of these. Now, for some reason, it tells me I need to have a multi-tool on me. That's just for making it for some reason. So we're going to go ahead and make one of those as soon as I get some copper ingots. Run over here, grab a stack. I'm probably going to end up putting these on a shelf just because it looks nicer. But we'll make one of those. That won't take too long. While we're doing that, let's actually start getting our, our plants down. And I'm wondering... Yeah, this might actually be a good place for it. So let's get rid of the pumpkin farm. We don't actually need it. Uh, I have no idea. Well, we do need it eventually for the, the methane. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to have a an 8x8 eight eight of these and I'm gonna have eight multi-tool robots harvesting them and then all the bamboo is gonna go through stone dryers and become coke or coal dust so there's uh, one two three four five six seven eight I don't know what the range on these is so I'm going with eight I think it was eight or ten all right so let me finish this up and I'll bring you back Okay, I got the last couple going through right now. They should be done. Not, not yet. Uh, I do have to make some more glass though because I gotta actually get uh, eight of these robots going. I only have enough for f five more, so I do not do need to have to cut up one more block. And we have two, so that's good. We'll run over here. I think it's the only thing I actually need it for, so we're gonna go ahead and cut it all up anyways. Alright, so now I need to have to make uh, four more robots. Because I got these ones here as well. Oh, no, get out of there. I did not want that. So, yeah, I got four of those, so I'm going to make four more of them. I uh, need. Where are they? I need more steel. Plates and rods. Oh, look at this. Got a stack of those. And a stack of those. I don't know why it's letting me take all of them. That's kind of a little too much, but yeah. Anyway. Uh, one, two, two, three, four. And while that's doing that, we can get the bamboo down. Uh, put those down. Like a so, my bamboo jungle. Alright. One, two, three, four. 
All right. So now we can go over here. We can get the lenses out of here. And what am I missing here? All right. Well, first let's make the filtering robots. Where are they? One, two, three, four. Now, what am I missing here? I have no idea. We'll find out in a second. Unless, unless it's going to actually use up that pick to do it. Oh, it does. Oh, I have to actually. That makes sense. Yeah, it becomes part of the recipe. There we go. One, two, three, four. All right, so now we got to make some more junctions, too. So I'm also. Uh, we won't grab that. We'll go and grab some plates. Uh, can't take half of those. And yeah, we'll take. Oh, we should not need rods. So let's uh, let's actually do this. Let me get everything crafted, and I'll bring you back. Okay. So I got all that set up. Uh, one thing I forgot about too is we're actually gonna need power for all of these. So I'm actually gonna get build up a second generator or two if I can. Uh, you know what? Let's build three more, just because. And then I'm gonna need a whole bunch of wire. So I'm gonna make a stack of that. And a stack of that, and then we'll check on check on everything, see, make sure everything's still got fuel and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to be placing basically junctions feeding into the furnaces and junctions feeding out, but making sure that the junctions aren't interconnecting with each other, and they're going to be all underground, separate from the pipes, so they're going to be f supplying fuel and removing ash. And then ash eventually, as I said, we're going to be using this into fuel. So if we go to the ash here, we run that through the electrolyzer. And it takes two ash with one power and turns that into carbon dust. Carbon dust is a very, very good fuel source. That's 15 compared to the 10 that we would get on the, the coal dust, for instance. So that's something we're going to get into next. Uh, again, everything is hold, held up the iron. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, the copper is going to be an issue, of course. I uh, could make sure this is all good and dandy. Uh, I probably could start filling moving these up to steel tier but we gotta get steel going first like at a decent rate and we're gonna be getting up into the arc furnace to do that uh, probably could use a better coke oven so let's actually see how these are doing slow and how much for a steel coke oven we need the bricks so I gotta get more clay but they're relatively cheap and it should have to go a lot faster uh, of course Creosote's going to be a problem, so I, we might end up making a dump for that, just because. Uh, what was I looking for? Let's see if I have any clay or bricks. Oh, I have enough bricks. Okay, so we can make two co two steel coke ovens then. One, two. And that's it. And all a very long crafting queue, so I shall return when that's all finished. Okay, it should be done. I had to cancel all the wire just to speed things up a, a little bit. Uh, gotta stack that so I actually have inventory space. Let's get rid of that dirt too. Don't need the dirt. Alright, so let's go ahead and start replacing these. I do have somewhere. Somewhere I should have two coke ovens. Uh oh. Oh wait, did I put them away? bit of a bug with the game sometimes. Uh, if you don't have inventory space and you're crafting stuff, you'll lose it. Again, early access, so it's not like it bothers me too much. Except for the fact that I don't have any more bricks. I do have to get some more smelted then. Uh, let's check the chest, see if anything ended up in here. Because uh, you never know. Nothing. Okay, well, let me make some more bricks. Never mind, I actually found some in there. Uh, I'm going to get some of this particle board out of my inventory, though, just because it's clogging it up so much. Anyway, let's uh, make some steel, some coke ovens again. Now that I'm not actually going to lose them. There they are. Uh, again, checking inventory space. Good. And then we could just put that there. 
30, let's say, 40 seconds versus, uh, we'll wait till this go through, wait for this to go through and then we'll check and see how it's doing. I'm just curious. See how much time we're saving on the coke. So it saves about 20 seconds, so it's about a two thirds the speed. Get rid of that and see if I can get this place right. There we go. Looks like exactly the same. And that should actually help with the, the steel production. So we'll keep let that go. We'll put these away, put those in. Uh, the chest of wonders oh, there. Uh, do I have any pumpkins? That's that pumpkin farm. Get that in there. Let's clear up the inventory space because you know what I mean. No point in making stuff. You're gonna lose it. So the next thing on the list is what was it? Oh yeah, I got these generators. I gotta make three more engines. One, two, three. So we'll go over here. And then I get more wire crafting because I had to can cancel the queue just so everything would get done. Ah, stack will be fine. And then we're just going to do the exact same thing that we have here. I'm going to... Is that the right way? Uh, I think so. Yes. One. Two. And three. And then our steam engines. One, two, uh, three. And then pipes. Pipes, 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 always pipes. And of course, I don't have any. So, craft some of those up. Let's actually get rid of the wire. And then start crafting that again because I keep canceling that recipe. Good times, good times. Alright, where's my pipes? Oh, those aren't pipes. There we go. Now, I should be able to actually just go right across here. It is all steam. And I'm one short. Of course I am. Of course I am. Cancel the wire again. And I'm going to do it in fives in case I have to cancel again. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Now. We should be having steam going in here. Steam is slowly building. Generators are running. Cool. Now, for the wire. The same thing. We're just going to feed them all into the bottom. Like a so. These are going to be charging this battery, and then this wire is going to go all the way down there to the farms. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of wire going, then uh, get the junctions made, and then we'll get all try to get all our furnaces being basically automated. So I'll return for that. Okay, I'm all ready to go. Uh, unfortunately, I'm out of power again. So we're going to have to waste our coal again to fill these things up while we get everything moving, because everything just gr came to a grinding halt. But everything is all set up. I have uh, made uh, steel junctions uh, just because they're actually going to be faster. And I think that might be a smart idea. Now, I do want to have them sort of separate, uh, like four on one side, four on the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one here, one here, one here, and then one here. And on the other side, you're going to be on the uh, alternating. So let's go ahead and get our steel junctions down. I made the copper junctions. We can run them through a macerator and grind it down for copper if we need to. Uh, I'm actually... Oh, I never made the junctions. Oops. Yeah, anyways. Uh, so what I'm going to be planning on doing is having a junction he here and there and there and there and then I'm going to be having the robots on top. And we'll just wait for that to go through. Uh, and then while we're doing that, let's actually get our wire laid. So I do have a lot. So that is good. So we're going to have the wires, the, the conveyors up top. All the fuel system is going to be down below just for the sake of it. Now, 
they shouldn't use too much power. I, uh, I'm going to be having them lower down, so they'll be basically harvesting it as it comes instead of waiting till it grows all the way up to harvest them. So go like this, do do do. Long cable, yes. But by the time I get this done, we should have our conveyor junctions. Uh, now I also got to think about the placement too. Where did the uh, where was the wire connection on these? Okay, let's actually get to the robot. So you can see the wire connections on that side. Now I was trying to figure out how this actually worked. There's actually a, an output slot, and it'll automatically output it to the junction down below. So that is how that works. Uh, that is still going through. So now what we do do is run the wire down this side. It's right down the back, like so. And then we connect it there, there, and and oh, oh, I'm out of wire. I'm gonna have to make some more wire too. All right, well our junctions are done. Let's see what we got left for wire. Uh, make another half stack for now. Actually, no, we're gonna have to make a, a whole stack of that. Okay, so now we have junctions somewhere. Take those off the bar. There we go. So, as you can see, that's what it does. And it's harvested all that bamboo. Now it's got nowhere to place it. So, I'm going to put the junctions on this side. Then we're going to run over here. And the junctions will go this side. Nope. I got them on the wrong sides. There we go. And that way they're going to be alternating. Like so and so. And then I gotta get the wire and the robots on this side, so I'll bring you back for that one. Okay, so I got them in place. I'm just placing the rest of the wire right now. Uh, one thing to note too, there is certain limit to how far they actually go. Uh, I will adjust that a little bit. So apparently it was 10 blocks I could have gone, but I think it's an even 64 is a-okay. Now these things are absolutely full of bamboo, so I gotta start getting this processed. Uh, I am gonna, just the multi the beam doesn't actually hurt as long as I don't have a block here. It should be okay. It doesn't seem to be taking out the wire, but we'll see if we can bring that down a little bit. And that should be good. So that means I have to adjust them down just a little bit. They will should affect how much power they actually use. I gotta make sure that it reaches the last plant. So let me take care of this and we'll continue on. Okay, so as you can see, they're all set up. They're all doing their thing. I just fell down a hole. Mm, big surprise. It's okay. We have a jetpack. So I do have to get some space down here. So we're gonna go ahead and dig all this out. And it's just so I have room to move around. It's not that big of a deal to me, really. Uh, as you place blocks, it will actually remove the landscape for you and put it ne neatly in your inventory for you. So it's always good. Kind of regret actually building so low to the ground now, but hey, I didn't even think about this at the time. And just do like that. Now what I want to do is I'm going to actually put the, put in the junctions here. Oh, there and there and there. And then output is going to be on the yellow. Okay, so that's going good. I'll put on the yellow and on the yellow. And then do that on the same other side here, if I can get there. And that's why I'm digging out the ground here. Do, 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 do. It's hard to believe I've already gone through like four of these things already. Uh, and yes, as you saw, it was flashing. Uh, stuff that despawns fairly quick in this game, so if you don't pick it up right away, you will lose it. But we'll just do this, so at least I can get to the conveyors. Then we'll do that one. Oh, come on. There, there, and there. Same thing. I'll put on the yellow, and yellow, and yellow, and that goes there. Now, we we'll just put one here. Uh, is that in the line? Yes. It is. We're going to have to do two of them. So the output is going to be on the pink. And then the output on here is going to be the green. 
and then now that obviously red is going to be yellow so uh, I'll put on yellow that one's going to be input on red and now if I can get out of here do -do -do -do. oh excuse me excuse me uh, just gonna use a steel for the bamboo because we got a higher production once it goes to the furnace and because each bamboo gets us like 0.1 so that's how we're gonna do it and I just remembered I got all this junk in the way all right well, let's get rid of that uh, I do have a steel dryer on me oh, that's not what I want to do and let's put input on that side. So now I should have a junction here, right there, and I'm out of junctions. Nope, I have one more. Like so. All right, you are gonna come out the blue. And it should go up, oh, look at that. And then I'll put into the yellow which is automatically turned into carbon coal dust. So that should be good. Uh, all these should be funneling down eventually. Uh, let's actually see here. No, it's not. Uh, let's see. Okay, so apparently I have to actually input, do these. So input on the blue. No, no, input on the blue, I'll put on the white. Make sure this is doing right. I gotta get all these configured, I think. I mean, thinks we have a jam up here. Let me get this all worked out and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I had to change things up just a tiny bit. Uh, just to uh, keep things moving smoothly because uh, things are starting to back up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I want to make two conveyors. Now what I've done is i got this side coming up to this one here, this side coming up to this one here. I'm going to have two steel dryers. Okay, I do have a second one made. Good, because uh, stuff is getting expensive. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, wait, one steel, one stone. Ooh. Well, I'm going to have to make another steel. Steel one then just because it'll run faster. So we have one there, one there. The output is gonna be on the green. Okay. Input's on the white. This side is gonna be outputting on the pink. Uh, no, you don't want output on yellow. Output on pink. Okay, good. Now the reason why these aren't going anywhere is because they're backing up. That's why stuff is being collected there. So now I just gotta get this, uh, the dryers on there. Now these don't actually have any fuel at the moment. I'm actually out of fuel. But we're gonna put half of that in there. We'll take, uh, this is steel, that's the stone one. We're gonna put this steel one on. That's not the steel one. That's a steel dryer. Okay, input there, output there, and then we're gonna have these going into a junction. And that is gonna be producing us fuel really quick. And as you see, it's just going to start piling in there, and that should be good. So now i got to wait for how many more plates do I need for that steel dryer? Four plates. Oh, uh, yeah, the blast furnaces are working. Uh, the coke ovens are actually working better than I have the coal for, so we got to watch out for that. We'll have to figure something out for that down the road. I need to wait for plates. So let me, uh, let me get that. Let me wait for those plates, and I'll bring you back on that one. Yeah, so it seems we're having a backup in the creosote here, so we're just going to go ahead and cancel that. I don't want to make it a full, well, I only have enough for one. But we're going to make one of these and get that down. I'm still waiting for the steel to go through. Uh, like I said, we're actually not getting any cre coke right now, so there is no steel production. Oh, yes, these games. you got to love them. Actually, I do. But that should be our water dump, or our fluid dump. So I'm going to go ahead and place that. Hang on here. Okay, like so. 
Now, I'm hoping that it's going to work the way I plan. Apparently not, because I don't have pipes. Make the... Uh... Actually, I should be able to come right off of that. In theory... Okay, that's getting rid of the creosote. And uh, that is going through, which means coke production will continue. Yes, big time drug lords here. Alright, so I gotta wait for a few more plates to come through, and I will bring you back when that is all done. Okay, here it comes. Didn't have to wait long. You know, when things are actually being produced, you don't have to wait for it. Alright, so now I can go ahead and make a steel dryer. And the reason why I'm making a steel one is just because it dries it faster so we don't get a backlog. Uh, the conveyors aren't moving as fast as I would hope, just because these things are filling up so much. So we'll definitely have to speed that up eventually. Anyways, uh, what am I looking for here? Stone steel dryer. I'll put on that side, so that's going to be producing our fuel. So now it's a matter of just getting that set up. Uh, what I might actually do for now is get some copper conveyors get two of those made and then we'll probably just end up putting them right into a chest or something like that for now we shall see okay so conveyors we'll do one like that one like that and put a chest right here for now so at least that's getting us fuel so at least i have a constant fuel supply uh, I definitely have to look at speeding these up slightly. Just because you get so much backlog, like the furnaces only do so much. What I might end up doing is just separating it from here. So these two go into one side, these two go into the other side. Just two more smelter, two more s furnaces and drying ovens, or s steel dryers. And that way just to keep up with the production here. But I think this is a good place to call it. Uh, I unfortunately can't do much right now until I get more steel produced. So we'll end it here and we'll continue on our adventure in the next episode. Anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.